Good afternoon, Cherry. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Cherry, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Cherry Barnay Hamidio, and I'm 28 years old, and I'm single mom, and I have one daughter. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? Because I want to help my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because uh, Malaysia is Philippines are near. Okay. How are you qualified for this job? Uh, Hardworking, lovable, and honest. May I know what your educational level is? High school graduate. What is your recent working experience? Uh, housemate only. Housemaid. Have you worked abroad before? Yes, ma'am. Which country was that? Kuwait, ma'am. For how many years? Two years. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? Yes, ma'am. You have experience of taking care of elderly? Yes, ma'am. And whose elderly was that? Ma'am? And whose elderly do you take care? Older? Yes. Senior citizen, have you taken care before? No, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food and Arabic food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Cleaning. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My mother. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going yes, to bed. Ma yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years is at my employer. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Good, lovable, and honest. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I am, I am, I assure you, and I will do, and I will do finish my contract. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? No, ma'am. Can you uh, promise yes. not to use the telephone yes, without the permission yes, of your employer? Yes, Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? No, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Again, can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly um, at work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? No, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Fit to work. 
Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? I know, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family working here in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Cherry, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study yes. for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay, Cherry? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia, example, you are six months here. If yes, ever any of your family members, Sharon, passed away, I mean, uh, Cherry passed away, what will you do? Ma'am? If ever any of your family member passed away while you are here in Malaysia for about six months, what will you do? After six months? You are here in Malaysia for about six months. Yes. Okay, six months. Okay, one of your family members die in the Philippines. What will you do? I will send her money or what? Okay, will you finish your contract? Yes, ma'am. What else you will do? Ma'am? What will you do? I will do anything. Okay, again, kindly tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, my name is Cherry Midyu and I want to work in the Malaysia because I want to help my family. Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Uh, hi, madam. I want to work with you and I, wa and I work nice and good employer with you. Okay, thank you very much, Cherry. We will update to your agency if there yes, is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am. 